You know, I don't know what it is, but a lot of times people discount the importance of plain old, good old, ordinary. There are days in our lives that go by, they pass through quickly, um, uneventfully. Some people might say, gee, wow, what a drag. No, 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 no. Listen, let me tell you something. I was here on the 11th day of that month, number of years back, okay? And I, one of the things I said, if there's anything that I miss, ordinary. I miss ordinary days. Never, ever frown upon an ordinary day. By the way, I don't think any day is truly ordinary. We got up, right? Hey, how you doing? By the way, my name is Jan. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. And welcome to the Save Money and More with Jan channel. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Speaking of extraordinary, okay, and then we'll go back to ordinary for a minute. Tomorrow is without a doubt, no matter what the outcome, and I know what, what outcome I want, and I did what I had to do um, to hopefully make that happen, right? Right. Hopefully in the good direction. And I hope everyone that wanted what they wanted will hopefully have done that. And it's, you know, this is it. Hey, you know, like this is it. Big, big, big day. Big, big, big day tomorrow. And today just happens to be my dad's birthday, my birthday up in heaven. Uh, happy heavenly birthday to your dad. Miss you every single day. And as time goes by, sometimes you miss your loved ones even more because you really, really get an extra appreciation that sometimes you just don't recognize, you know, while you're in the throes of it. But anyway, happy heavenly birthday, dad. Um, thanks for joining me and wishing him a happy birthday. Um, so let's talk about uh, extraordinary and ordinary. Okay. Now, sometimes people think that everything has to be huge. Like, I mean, for example, okay, a, a family member uh, attended two of those big, 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 huge, big, big, big rallies recently. The one that was in Jersey once and the one most recently at the Garden. Amazing, beyond amazing. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm sure these are experiences that that family member will never ever forget even just watching it on tv that was an extraordinary event that's extraordinary okay let's talk about an ordinary event get up brush your teeth jump in the shower maybe stare outside the window with a cup of tea or coffee if you have a quiet moment one of those lucky folks that actually might have a quiet moment with their coffee listen let me tell you something i love and treasure my quiet first few moments of the day with my cup of joe where I'm just like sitting there looking all silly, just like staring into space going, huh? <laughs> I think everybody needs a bunch of that huh moment. <laughs> Absolutely. Regroup your thoughts and collect yourself as you enjoy your sips of tea or coffee or whatever it is that you drink when you wake up. Some people just have juice. Some people just eat a piece of fruit, but they're just like kind of staring there going, huh? <laughs> or even a glass of water. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But you know something? We judge ourselves many times by the big, 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 big things we do. And oftentimes forget about the little, little, little things that we do. Uh, uh, uh. That could be a mistake. Because sometimes we don't get to do a lot of big, 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 big things in our life. Okay? More often than not, we're going to have that ordinary day, which, by the way, we appreciate. Every one of us I know that's listening appreciates being able to have that day because we are grateful people. I know we are. It's why we're together and that's why we're here. All right. So, but we do maybe minor things and we just like sweep it under the rug and forget about it. More often than not, we're just going to have the day where you get up, brush your teeth, you know, same routine, brush your teeth. Jump in the shower, the coffee is perking or whatever you want to call it, is brewing. Oh, while you're in the shower, jump out. Oh, nice. Cut up yourself a piece of banana bread to go with that cup of coffee. Ordinary, grateful day. And I love ordinary days. Trust me on that. When you have lived through the craziest of days, like that day I mentioned, it changes you as a person. And all you want and crave is ordinary, ordinary. So that that's that on that, that subject. I'm just saying, all right, we've all had drama days, like, you know, for many, many reasons. And then you kick back on the regular day, go, ah, oh, I'm okay. I'm just having an ordinary day. Good. <laughs> 
good. But let's talk about savings for a moment. You know, there's a lot to be said for the person, for example, that has a low income, zero debt. That's right. Debt free. How can you be debt free and be low income? It's called having a plan. OK, and it's also a bit of sacrifice. You know, sometimes I, I think that we are just so used to having certain things that people consider as a need, but effectively it is a want. And we keep saying ourselves, but I need this. Like I need that carousel. I always go back to that story. No, no one doesn't need a carousel unless they're in the carousel business. And that's what they do for a living. Okay. <laughs> no. So I, yeah, I, I think there's a, a bit of confusion, but imagine this. Now there are people out there who actually have a very good income. You know, when I hear of the current incomes that some people, young people, young people, that young people deservingly get cost of living, things have to go, you know, up to where it goes. But I'm not saying that all young people mismanage their money. There are certainly a lot who do manage it well. But for the person, and it doesn't have to be a young person, it could be any person that has a high income and is still not able to save slash invest. I'm, I'm a little confused about that and finds himself in credit card debt. See, here's the question that I have. What is the limit? Is there any limit to our uh, human never ending instinct for wanting much, 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 much more? You know, sometimes less is more. Sometimes in life, the more you have, the more you have to concern yourself about with. That means more responsibilities. I, 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 don't, I don't know how, how you feel about this, but I'm the type of person. I am older. I am older. I like simplicity. Okay. I, I like security. I like simplicity. I like wiggle room. I like saving room. Yes. I like thriving, not just merely just, you know, cutthroating survival. No, 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 no. But I also am not a fan of having so many things to deal with. Not when you hit a certain level, you know, after, you know, spinning around this world for years and years and years and years. It's like, I admit, part of me feels, hey, I earned my stripes, if you will. And it does come a time in your life. When are people ever, ever satisfied? And then there are people, like I was about to say, who have high incomes and they knee deep in debt, D-E-B-T, rabbit hole of. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's tough. That That is tough. Why? Because people give in to many times their wants more than their needs or they're not paying attention. And then I know a lot of people who are a low income. Not only are they debt free, they manage to save <laughs> ordinary versus extraordinary. Can I tell you something? When I think of those two situations, I think it is a wonderful, wonderful, extraordinary way to be a lower income person and still find solace and still find peace every day, financial peace, right? Not be in debt at all, debt free, D-E-B-T, and still save. Now the saving may take longer, and then the decisions that go further after the initial savings that go into the investment, you see where I'm going, may take longer. But that person or persons, they are debt free, living without that cloud of, oh, my word, oh, my word, oh, my word. You see where I'm going with this. We can turn ordinary into extraordinary in a great way. We could turn ordinary into extraordinary in not a great way. Or we can be happy with a level playing field. This is where I come in. I'm more of a person that likes things nice and even. Yeah, of course, a little, little excitement here and there on the positive side, the good stuff. But I don't want that negative type of, you know, draining, dramatic excitement. If I want that, I'll go put on a movie. That's the fun of entertainment. You watch it, you feel it, and then you walk away from it, as opposed to when you are living it. Big, 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 big difference. Big difference. All right. So 
big, big day ahead of us. Um, hopefully everybody did what they had to do or will be doing that like either right now. I'm not sure if I'm coming on a tomorrow with a video. Probably am. I'll probably make, you know, a video for tomorrow. Um, it doesn't take up that much of your day. And hopefully by tomorrow, most of you, you know, did what you should be doing and have the privilege to do of which so many people wish they could, but we get to do it. So there you go. All right, everybody, take good care. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate everybody's time. Don't forget to come back Monday through Friday for my no frills video. Sometimes they post them an hour or two before midnight to uh, get people that maybe never heard of the show, like from another part of the country where there's a time difference type thing. And uh, or people just want to hear a video and not have to wait for my video to post at midnight. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Have an amazing, fantastic, ordinary day.